Oscar's good. He's so good. He's Isn't fantastic. Fun? DJ Rip, a little later, will tell you why he's here, and he will teach us how to scratch. He's got a cool story how he got that name, too. Really? So he'll tell us that. Yeah. Not DJ Rip 1. That's a whole different No, 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 no. no Rip no. um is what we're talking about. <laughs> hey, you know, if there's one thing our producer in the booth, Dana, loves, she loves a good brewski. Here's to good times, Dana. Tonight's kind of special. Bottoms up, folks. Cheers. <laughs> they're all drinking. Oh, they're wait all a minute. There. You're working. They even have a drinking game. They chug every time I say Lady Gaga. Get out of here. Lady I got Gaga. Coffee and they're back there. Lady hey, Gaga. Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> the crew's in luck because this weekend it's beer, beer, and more beer. We're talking about, of course, first of all, Denver Beer Fest begins mm -hmm. today. It's a 10 day extravaganza celebrating all things barley, hops, and yeast. You can head over to denverbeerfest.com for a complete list of all the different. Uh, restaurants and brew pubs that are involved. A lot of different events. So uh, be sure to enjoy that. I'll tell you one gal who's going to be there. Our producer, Dana. Yeah, she'll be oh, all over it. Lady Gaga! <laughs> Look at him go. Hey, it's Miller time, Dana. There you go. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Whoa. Hey, easy, Dana. Easy. She's going to head over to the zoo tonight. <laughs> Tonight is the brew oh, at the zoo. Oh, look. I don't think these penguins will be drinking, but they'll be there. Brew at the zoo starts tonight, yeah, early evening, about 6, 630. Look tickets how cute are, they are. Tickets are 65 bucks for non-members, 35 bucks if you're the designated driver. You'll get 40 different Colorado breweries pouring their best, plus music and food, and yes, guess what? Beer and more beer. Uh-huh. Lady Gaga. Chug, chug, chug. chug. Lady Gaga. And <laughs> yeah, they're not drinking now. They're out of their beer. Time now for the Parente Bromance. And you, you know this, Natalie. Yeah. I have a deep, abiding love for a Denver dude who is making it big on national TV. Uh -huh. Go ahead, everybody. Sing it with me. It's my new theme song. Tell me when will you, be you know the song. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Mondo, Mondo, Mondo. Oh, it's Mondo Guerra. The Denver designer on Project Runway, guess what? He made it through again Yay! last night. It was really, really a close, close call for him. He was in the bottom three. But guess so what? So there are three left now or two? He was in the bottom three, but okay. he made it. Oh. Mondo, Mondo, Mondo. We'll be on again next Thursday night. Project Runway on Lifetime. He continues to impress folks, but it was really close last night. If I know Natalie, I know one thing about this gal. She loves glow sticks, pacifiers, and the electro-funk stylings of Sound Tribe Sector 9. <laughs> Apparently you're not a raver. You went, why would I want a glow stick and a pacifier? That's what the ravers use. No. Yes, Natalie. Sound Tribe Sector 9 playing up at Red Rocks tonight. They're a Colorado favorite, and boy, can they jam. Doors open at 6. Show starts just before 8 o'clock. Have a good time. You, why would I want a glow stick? I have no idea. <laughs> I have a few pacifiers I can bring, I bet though. you do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it is the story of a lonely warrior trapped in a world of undead zombies. I call that my dating life. <laughs> or Resident Evil Afterlife 3D. The new movie is out today. We got the scoop and flew out to Hollywood to interview the cast. One of the stars is Allie Larder. You know her from Heroes and Legally Blonde and, of course, this franchise. She loves sci-fi so much, she even compared her current pregnancy to science fiction. I'm really just enthralled with the whole process. You know, being pregnant is my own, you know, it's like my own science fiction experiment. It's incredible <laughs> feeling like the little one kicking and the thought of giving birth. I mean, it's just, it's really... You know, it's fascinating to me, and I'm just I love embracing it. the journey. Childbirth is like a science fiction it film. Is. It's growing inside you. <laughs> right. Wow. I've never quite heard it described that way. There you go. You do have the glow. That's there for sure. you go. By the way, she was on Jimmy Fallon just last night and confirms now that it's going to be a boy. Oh, good. It's going to be a boy. And by the way, oh. the movie opens nationwide today. Go check it out. If you like 3D and you like the Resident Evil franchise, you'll like this one. But it is a little scary, you know, zombies coming at you. Elle Magazine is celebrating its 25th year, and to celebrate, 
They've named the most powerful 25-year-old alive. Who do you think it is? Hmm. Any guesses? I don't know. Most powerful 25-year-old? Say hello to my gal pal, Gabare Sidibe. The star of Precious yeah. makes the list, along with Lauren Conrad and John McCain's daughter, Megan. Really? The most powerful 25-year-olds alive. Not to be outdone, I've made the list of the most powerful 40-year-olds alive. <laughs> Steve Carell and I, the last two remaining 40-year-old virgins, we are powerful men. <laughs> At 40. What a pair you yeah, are. Yeah, what a pair yeah. we are, uh huh? There you have it. <laughs> All right, thank you. Coming up next.